Hi, I'm David Hoffman, one of the founders of Internews and the Global Forum for Media Development. Fifteen years ago, when we founded GFMD, uh, it was a new industry. We were really only about a decade old at the time, and we wanted to find a way to pull together the competing uh, organizations so we could speak with one voice. It was very, very difficult. We all mistrusted each other, and it took a lot of, a lot of massaging before we could uh, learn that by coming together we would all be strengthened. I joined the GFMD in the Athens meeting in 2008. It was a great meeting with uh, hundreds of people discussing media development. There were uh, hundreds of people from all over the world. I think it was a little bit dominated by people from uh, Western and advanced media development uh, uh, countries. Um, but it was a great meeting and great exchange. Uh, I was elected in the steering committee at that time. I've been involved with GFMD since its inception, really. I was at the original meeting, as were many of you who are listening to this, in Amman in 2005. I was there as a UN official. I was in a position where I was able to contribute some modest resources and the uh, specter of the positive, one hopes, of UN political support for this exercise. Uh, and then, in more recent years, going kind of full circle, I ended up representing GFMD at the United Nations as GFMD's representative in the negotiations for the Sustainable Development Goals and in the years afterwards when we were leading civil society efforts around the world for the inclusion of the principle of freedom of information in the SDGs. And remarkably, we were successful. I had the privilege and the honor of being the director of GFMD between the 1st of January 2016 and the 28th of February 2017, during which we had a beautiful gathering in Jakarta, around 400 media and media development professionals, in order to think about the future of GFMD and the main questions that were at play then. I wasn't there for the birth of GFMD in 2005, but I attended its second global forum in Athens in 2008, and I didn't fully understand the importance of GFMD until then. Media development groups from around the world converged in this really massive convention center, along with a variety of media funders. And for the first time, I became connected to organizations like my own, like the International Center for, for Journalists which were committed to promoting and strengthening quality journalism. To my great surprise, I was elected to be the chairperson of GFMD at that 2008 forum. And honestly, it was the last thing I expected when I, le when I left uh, for Athens. And during that time, I worked with a dedicated director and steering committee. And it's a group that to this day is still very de dedicated to GFMD's success. Uh, some of the members of the steering committee have become personal friends, and we all remain committed to an organization that strengthens independent journalism worldwide, that allows us all to collaborate, that promotes best practices, and provides very valuable research for our field. Well, GFMD was created because there was a group of people, media practitioners, that were absolutely convinced that media was key for development. Any country, any society, any nation that really wants to take seriously a democratic present and future needs to have an independent and free media. People know what media is, people know what press freedom is, people know what development is, but it has always been interesting to explain the concept of media development. And GFMD was born to support media development organizations all over the world and also support donors, political decision makers, to understand the concept and the need for media development as a key contributor to peace, to stability, to security, to fighting corruption, to establishing good governance all over the world. 
We had a common purpose and a common mission. And with GFMD, a group that could advocate for all of us, finally, for funding journalism as a pillar of democratic society. So, and in, in the biggest achievement of the GFMD, in my view, is uh, to have access to information integrated in the sustainable development agenda. It's a big network success, and it shows that if we can find a unifying project for all the members of GFMD, we can actually make something happen, and we have power, especially because all the partners that we work with um, in Africa, in Asia, and Latin America rallied behind the same the same item, and I should mention one of the heroes of the Global Forum for De uh, Media Development, because it was Jeanette Minnie's idea that really made this success happen. And GFMD was also given formal observer status at the United Nations, making it one of only two international organizations with that status that is dedicated to the protection and promotion of independent journalism around the world. So what's beautiful about GFMD is the fact that it's not advocating for its own turf, for its own role, for its own activities, but it is enabling its members to get the resources and support they need to conduct their missions in the countries where they operate. And keeping a network together is always a challenge because you're bringing people from different backgrounds, from different perspectives um, around an issue, media development in this case, but it's, it's very normal that in any network, you always find a challenge to keep the network together. Uh, and in a way, that's for me, the most important achievement GFMD has had, which is the network still exists. The network is strong. One of the biggest challenges in the GFMD's past was the fact that everybody agreed that it was necessary to have the Global Forum for Media Development but that of course nobody really had extra resources to allow it to function properly. So during the four years uh, that I was in the steering committee towards the Johannesburg meeting, we faced several resource crises. And I think it is one of the biggest challenges of the past, which still exists in the Global Forum for Media Development today. How do you resource a network um, when donors prefer to support individual organizations. The other big problem we faced was uh, fierce competition from, uh, from the sector called uh, Media for Development, the ones that add, do PSAs and promotions on particular social issues. Eventually those uh, two sectors have kind of come closer together in the years since. Right now, we're all in this together. We're all learning from each other. And in many ways, the models for survival in this difficult new world can be found more in the developing world, in Latin America, and in, in East and Southeast Asia, and in Africa, than in the developing countries where the media used to be able to depend on commercial revenues or public government support, none of which is assured anymore. Public space for information is privatized at the moment and it is not being ruled by ethics and principles and standards. And that is what we should work on. I mean, it's very difficult because our level of influence over all these institutions and private companies is limited because of their, I would say, cross-border, trans-global uh, nature. Um, so it's, a, it's an enormous challenge. It's really an uphill battle, um, but I think together, we can make a difference. The dynamic of what's happening in the media world, especially in the digital world, uh, is, 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 it, it moves at such a fast pace uh, and it's so, it grows so fast and it's, it has a very particular dynamic and, and, and it's relatively new. We should not forget that we're talking about something that started 30 years ago, that's, that's not, not really a long time. So, so we're still, in a way, understanding. And, and, and because of the, of the digital world's changing so fast, um, it's, 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 it's difficult to know what's happening. And even the most, you know, even the leaders in the digital world, sometimes they don't really know what's going to happen. 
so so that's for me one of the the, mo the most complex challenges we have gfmd by its research work by its advocacy work by the fact that it's bridging the gap between the knowledge that is developed in the north with the knowledge and practice that is lived on a daily basis in the south if gfmd was not doing its role it would be failing us but this is why gfmd today is adapting its role and activity to all these new challenges that the media sector and the media development sector all over the world are are facing and today more than ever gfmd's role is, is critical so there is more need for what gfmd does than ever and if i could just conclude on one uh, personal note i've personally had the great um, privilege pleasure over the years of working with many members of the board with the directors from David and Joyce and Leon and Ricardo and the wonderful staff directors that GFMD has had uh, currently with Mira, Carolyn Giraud before that. But the first uh, and in a way the most important of them, if you will, was uh, our dear friend Bettina Peters. I am recording this just after having learned just a couple of days ago of the sad news of her passing. And I think that we all recognize that if it had not been for her selfless dedication to this fledgling organization and to its cause, uh, we would not be celebrating 50th anniversary of GFMD at all. So in her memory, uh, I would like to uh, pass on my good wishes to all of us and hope we can all continue to work together. Thank you. I served uh, GFMD gladly as a chairman for four years between 2012 and 2016. They were inspiring years uh, because of the fight for the Sustainable Development Goal 16. But at the same time, they were hard years with very little resources. And I was so happy in 2016 that we managed uh, to make uh, GFMD survive that uh, uh, resource crisis. And at the same time, appoint a new chairman, have a much wider constituency from all over the world uh, joining the GFMD for membership. And that is where it went upward. And I thank the current leadership of GFMD for um, you know, taking up that challenge and uh, carrying the ball further. I think we're on the right track and uh, keep up the good work. Um, we're here to stay. And I'm very proud to be associated with GFMD. Here's to at least another 15 more years. We need GFMD more than ever. Bringing together everybody in Amman, Jordan was transformational for our sector, and it has grown in sophistication and, and influence. It's never been more important than it is now, and yet it's never been more threatened. But hey, if we continue to work together, we'll continue to, to grow and, and continue to have media be free and able to play the role that is so vital to a democratic society.